Welcome to a, uh, another episode of Mediocre YouTuber Builds a uh, Mediocre YouTuber Builds a Mediocre CT70 On a really, really tight budget Because I am cheap Being so cheap, um, I've worked all summer and I've bought two parts one being a Burt Moto Co. titanium exhaust and a six volt battery because supposedly 83 they went to 12 volt, but I'm really confident that's a 12 volt system. Now mine's an 81, so I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's six or 12. I bought the six volt because the 12 volt's 80, the six volt, volt is 20. If it's not the right one, I'll just return it. Yeah. So let's uh let's throw this exhaust on and go ride it down the street. So um I think it's gonna look uh mighty sick. I'm glad I went with the uh, full titanium, but of course it's not bolted on there. All the hardware is right there. So we're gonna do uh, mediocre YouTube things in. So uh, of course not perfect because I moved the bike. Um, so apparently you're supposed to have like a super ultra mega long extendery off of that that stud to hold your exhaust on so i just got those bolts really tight so she's not really going anywhere so i'm gonna go spin her around the block and see if she does okay she did not want to start but that, now she might start first kick all right i'm gonna go ride it all right so this of course the exhaust is not fully mounted yet but I've got the battery in. I've tightened up the exhaust because I had a little bit of an exhaust leak. And um, I'll take it out for round two, the second heat cycle, because now it's cooled off. And of course, it's a brand new piston and cylinder, so I'm going to do some heat cycles. And I put some WD-40 on the uh, exhaust to turn it a little gold because titanium, the WD-40 will turn the titanium uh, gold. All right. If anyone wants it, you can buy it, 2,000 bucks. I'm putting it on uh, Marketplace. Tired of it, doesn't run right, probably needs a motor. Yup. All right, so, um, hang on, let's go like this. There we go. So, um, I've uh, recovered since my hissy fit I had the other day, because it is no longer um, like 103 here. The exhaust is on, still not completely, obviously. I don't have the exhaust hanger back here. Um, intake is on. It's running good. It starts like first kick. It just has no fuel in it right now. So it runs good. Sounds okay. Has an air filter. So I mean, you could like go ride it. But uh, I want a seat. I want a front brake. Front brake right here. And uh, there's one other thing I had. I added to my cart. Um, oh, I bought some. I'm gonna get some little. I'm gonna get white. Dude, this framing's been awful. I don't know. I want to get white wire loop. Because that's the one thing I don't like about the CTs. Is all the CTs, you know, have they have the big bores. So the cylinder is yay much taller. And then they have the oil cooler. And so they got all these lines. And then they got the, the fuel lines. And then they've got the throttle cable. And then they've got excess wiring. And it looks really, really busy. I don't like it. It's too much and I want to kind of keep it simple right here I want it very minimalist just how it is right now like from this camera angle very simple of course you go down and you look a little harder you can see the, the plug wire and you can see these little wires back here you can see the throttle cable but at a quick glance you're like man that's like the engine bay of a show car now granted this is no show uh, show vehicle I've got a uh, stacked washers just about everywhere I can stack washers the paint is chipping off of places that I've accidentally scratched slash hit the paint. Um, this likes to do that. It's pretty much a SEMA build. So I've got my SEMA CT. Fork seals are leaking. But yeah, uh, parts will be ordered here soon. It's like 70 bucks. So I'm going to order those and uh, then I'll have a video on that. So this will probably be like a five minute video by the time I'm done editing. And then the CT is uh, like is mixing fuel and oil together. 
in the bottom of the crankcase. It's liking to do that. I think I fixed the oil leak. I put a softer washer as for a proper crush washer. So that'll be here soon after I finish this and hopefully sell it. I don't know, I'll count like 25 inch for it. And then, uh, you know, I put a 1500 into that and keep it. I mean, 1500 bucks for a supermoto isn't bad at all. And that would be really, really nice. I could put a grand into it and have a clapped out supermoto. I put another 500 bucks, that's big bore and all the lights and everything. And then I have a really cool supermoto. And then eventually I want to kind of upgrade the Kalex because she's like worn out. She needs some, she needs some help. But, uh, man, Fran, I just can't get it good. There we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully it won't be too long because then the parts will come in and then I get those in school. This is my first day of school. So I actually probably get stuff more done now because I'll, I won't be sitting inside all day, like just not accomplish anything and go to school. And then I can come here and I can actually work and it won't be a thousand degrees. I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to bed now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>